Now, when it comes to the benefits of using an off-axis guider, well, obviously, it's a lot of the stuff that was the negative around the guide scope. An off-axis guider, of course, you're going to be higher precision, both because you don't have that flexure, so you don't have issues with that. You do have a narrower field of view, while that means guide stars can sometimes be difficult to find. Narrow field of view also means more accuracy. A off-axis guider setup is often also lighter as we're not putting a full telescope, but just putting a small adapter with a tiny mirror on it. It's often also actually cheaper. Now, when it comes to the drawbacks of off-axis guiders, the main one is complexity. It can be quite complex to integrate an off-axis guider into your optical train. Problem here is that off-axis guider bracket with a little mirror that takes up optical path. And if you want to fit a filter wheel in there, maybe you want to fill the camera rotator as well, all of a sudden you're going to run out of optical path real, real quick. And you might not be able to get your imaging camera close enough to reach correct back focus. It adds some complexity, but this is a one-time thing, of course. Once everything is set up, ideally, it should be set and done and you shouldn't need to touch it again.